Okay, it says Natalie walked three fifths of a mile and a half hour. How far did she walk in miles per hour? Now, this gets into doing unit rates. Now, the first thing that I want to ask is this. Are we going to convert these to decimals or leave them at fractions? Fractions. Here's the deal. Fractions, 90% of the time are your friends and will help you cancel and make it easier. Also, if you're going to a math classroom that doesn't allow you a calculator, leave them at fractions. It's easier to do fractional math than it is decimal. Uh, second question. Which component's going to go on top? Which one's going to go on bottom when we're talking miles and hours? If you can answer those two questions, leave them as fractions and put this unit where your problem is going to become easier. Trent? Perfect. Everybody right. Three fifths of a mile over one half over. Now, when I do this question, it wants me to get miles per hour. I need a full unit rate. I need this to be a unit rate here of 1. Now, I'm going to put in a separate color so everybody sees it and everybody studies it tonight. Who can raise their hand and tell me, what do I multiply 1 half by to make it a 1? Tristan? Perfect. And what's the big massive vocabulary word that we've learned that that's called when I do 1 over 2 and multiply by... Two over one. What do I call it? Reciprocal. Let's call it two over one is a reciprocal. Now watch what happens here. I go two over one, two over one. These cancel. Gives me one hour. Now, I'm going to go dust up my uh, fractional math from last year. Three times two is six. Five times one is five. I couldn't cancel out my three or my one or my two or five. So I get six fifths. So I get six fifths miles per hour. Uh, I'm not a big fan of writing six fifths. It makes me look like I'm in third grade or fourth grade and I don't know much about fractions. Who can raise their hand and tell me uh, what's a better answer for six fifths miles per hour? And it's listed right here. Jillian? One and one fifth. Let's use one and one fifth. Let's use one and one fifth. 